Let me summarize some key points on healthcare and education. I will start with healthcare. The common refrain from the people we can die but cannot afford to be sick is a serious matter for us to think about. Healthcare is an essential service, and the Workers' Party believes no one should be deprived of healthcare for any reasons. The current government expenditure on healthcare is a percentage of GDP. It's about 1%. This accounts for only about a quarter of the total health expenditure, far lower than the OECD average of about 75%. Such low expense is no cause for celebration because it raises questions of fairness and sustainability. There's a risk that some Singaporean family may face catastrophic payment for health care. Therefore, the health budget must increase over time as we are living longer in an aging society. We believe it is the fundamental duty of the government to ensure our citizens have access to the best possible health care the nation can afford. We also believe all citizens should be provided with quality, basic health care services, regardless of their income. Let me now highlight a couple of proposals on health care. To help cover acute hospital bills, the Workers' Party proposes a compulsory basic hospitalization scheme with co-payment of the premium from the government. The scheme should aim to achieve some key objectives such as universal coverage for all basic hospital health care, a standard premium regardless of age, and affordable premium for up to the 90th percentile of the working population. For more information on this scheme, please refer to our manifesto. We also recommend that patients be allowed to, re to receive subsidized rate at specialist clinic in public hospital, even if they are not referred by polyclinics. Next, I want to touch on uh, step-down care. The cost of step-down care in Singapore is too high for the average family. Some Singaporeans have to leave their sick elderly family member in long-term care institution in neighboring countries because of cost reasons. Although the long-term care services are provided largely by VWOs and commercial operators, the government must play its role to monitor them and provide support and intervention. This is to ensure long-term care services in Singapore are readily available, of good quality and affordable. We believe there should be sufficient institutional care facilities such as convalescent homes, community hospital, rehabilitation centre, hospices to cater to the different needs of patients. Finally, I'd like to state that the Workers' Party recognises the need for prudence in public health care expenditure. But we must, we should be, but we should be mindful about the impact of tightening the health budget just to stake a claim that our health expenditure is among the lowest in the developed world. We are concerned that a tightening health budget will place a higher payment burden on patients. We are also concerned that the attempt by the government to limit its obligation towards health care by emphasising self-reliance and family support will pose financial difficulties for patients from the working and sandwich classes, especially those with few or no children. For more details on our belief and proposal, I will refer you to our manifesto. Next, I'm going to move on to the chapter on education. The current education system has spawned a stressful culture highly dependent on private tuition to deliver the results. Even self-help groups are spending a large amount of their public funds on tuition for needy students. In the past four decades, some ill-conceived streaming policy have stigmatized many young children as slow learners and underachievers. The obsession with testing, benchmarking, and grouping young talents in our education system has caused unnecessary anxiety and bread pockets of elitism in our schools and society. Let me share with you some of our beliefs and proposals for education. We believe the well-being of teachers is an essential catalyst to a successful education. We believe an environment conducive for learning begins with, a, begins with an inspired teacher in a small class size setting. The Workers' Party proposes to reduce the class size for all levels of primary and secondary school to approximately 20, 20 pupils. The small class size setting will allow a teacher to focus more attention on weaker students. We call for more administrative staff to teach teacher in managing non-academic duties like co-curricular activities. We should let teachers spend more time on what they, they do best, which is to teach. The Workers' Party is also of the view that the formative years of our young children should be better spent on cultivating their love for learning and exploring rather than grooming them for high-stake examinations. 
we propose a study to be initiated to explore the feasibility of a primary to secondary integrated program. In the area of tertiary education, we believe the tuition grant for local undergraduates should be increased to better reflect the value of our citizenship. Currently, the tuition grant for all undergraduates is the same regardless of nationality. An increase in the tuition grant for local undergraduates will make tertiary education more affordable. Every child matters. Special needs children are no different. MOE should assume greater re social responsibility in special needs education, or SPED for short. More importantly, MOE should be seen as driving the education goals of all children. We call for MOE to bring SPED school under its direct funding and total administration. It should then work with VWOs to run these fully funded SPED schools. This will bring SPED teachers and allied educators under the direct employment of MOE. We also believe SPED school fees should not be means tested because parents of special needs children are already saddled with higher maintenance costs. Finally, we should review the curriculum content of the national education. It should include the teaching of our constitution, the political system of parliamentary democracy, and the rights and obligation of being a citizen. For more on our beliefs and proposal on healthcare and education, please refer to our manifesto. Thank you.